I'm joined by Helga and we're going to cover the usage of this new IT slash IP based platform. So Helga, can you just give us a bit of a background to yourself and how you came to get involved in, in the development of this? Uh, in short words, so I was starting in the business in 87, uh, where I was working as a post editor and uh, after five years uh, I got freelanced and worked myself into the direct take the director's chair a vision mixer, whatever, depending on which country you're working with. Um, and ever since um, the ind industry came to me and said, can you help us with uh, software design and uh, let's say commercial requirement specifications, um, translation of manuals and writing specs for tools and that's how it came all together. So over different companies, different years. Yeah, okay. and. Let's go a bit into the into the, the platform. Obviously, it's it's software based, and am I right in saying it, that the hardware is all off the shelf IT technology? Yeah, absolutely correct. So it's an off the shelf uh, IT server. So the only customization which is done by Panasonic is that we shorten the frame to make it more rec friendly. Uh, instead of having 80 centimeters deep, it's 60 centimeter deep. Uh, from the processor uh, part, it's uh, Intel CPU and it's uh, NVIDIA GPU what we're using for the video processing. Uh, video I.O. Uh, using off-the-shelf Mellanox, um, all off-the-shelf components. Great. And how does it compare using a, a software-based platform compared to a physical hardware? Uh, a physical hardware usage is typically all um, living in boundaries of numbers, saying, okay, a uh, typical hardware switcher will give me amount of inputs, outputs, a number of MEs and a fixed number of keys in the MEs and so on and so. Um, whereby on a software-based platform, it's all up to me how I design this production. So uh, if, the, if I give the director four keys, he will ask for five anyway. If I give him eight, he will ask for ten, uh, I don't know. So uh, here, for me, this is completely obsolete. It behaves more like, I would say, Final Cut or, or Photoshop for, for live video. So it's all up to me. And are we able to sort of see a bit of how, it, how, the, how the system works? Absolutely. Yeah? Uh, I'll give you a brief example, though, let's say, for instance, this uh, 32 by 9 canvas size, what we're having on screen over here, which is actually kind of a half 4K resolution. Uh, not only that the system is uh, independent in bandwidth uh, in resolution on the input side, it's also independent on the output side. So on an ME, ME, or scene by scene, or output by output level, I can change exactly the resolution of this. Now when I try to build this on any other platform in the world, on any other switch, on any other manufacturer side, um, I would probably work more like this, so that I have to split this into two portions of my ME, so the left-hand side and the right-hand side, um, which is okay as long as the boxes remain static. But as soon as the director would tell me, can we move the center box somewhere else, uh, then we'll see the, the difference in controls. Go into my left side over here and pick my center box and just drag this. Now you see these are not entangled, they're not hanging together, they're not stitched together, it's like individual elements. So now I would need just software tools saying, I need to couple the buses, I need to replace the sources, I need to track the offsets of the DV and so and so. Whereby in this case of that platform over here in Panasonic, it's so much more simpler and straightforward operation. Going back to my layout, my big screen. Now in my controls in here, going to my big screen um, scene over here, that's how I call it, big screen. You see also on the multi-viewer label there. In the upper right corner, you see there's a resolution factor for X and a resolution for Y. And live, I can change that resolution into any other format, which means live rendered. So even though if I want to make a small, let's say, advertisement banner in the stadium or so, uh, make it way more smaller, probably something like this. And it's all rendered live into the machine. So I can enter here also my pixel resolution in a numeric system like that. So I'm back in 1080. But if so, wish saying I have another display 400 by 400. 1200 by 800, uh, any kind of combination, or even odd numbers. So I just type the number in and feed this to the display, I'm done. Now, in this moment, this is just my full new canvas size. So this is not two ME stitched together. This is a full new canvas. So if I need now to, let's say, reposition a name tag, saying, going to Gillum over here, saying, I just click on that one, click on the box, and I just drag this all across the screen if I need to. Uh, put this back in to position, or even though saying I want to go to the box element itself to move the entire box, then I move this all around. Helga, thank you so much for your time in explaining this. And if you've got any questions, then please be sure to uh, write a comment on, on the video. Thank you for watching.